Hello there, so, hello YouTube, I'm back again. I've been very quiet recently, I've got a lot happening very soon, um, quite a lot happening this week. So, um, just wanted to do a quick video because I have been working on something that I'm quite proud of. I say quite, it's not done yet, it's just an idea. Uh, this is one of the first cosplays that I am making. Um, to say I've never done anything like it, I'm very proud. There was a failed attempt, and I will, I do have that to show, but I'll just show basically what it is. And what it is, is, well, the camera doesn't do it justice. This, so far, has been two days' work, and I'll get a better angle. In fact, we'll do a better angle now. This is two days' work of a mask that I'm working on. The camera, I don't know if it'll do it justice, I've been etching today. The school details of basically how your school forms, because it's not one solid dome. So I've been doing that. I've just worked on the strap at the minute because of I've cut away the excess here. That was basically holding it on my head. I'm having to come up with solutions to keep it on. It's not fully done, like I say. And yes, as you can tell, if anyone's watching this who knows a lot, yes, this is based off um, Deathstroke and Slade from... Teen Titans or the DC Universe. I'm not a big superhero fan, but I just wanted to do something different. It's not done yet. There is bits missing. This is all basically cardboard, foam. You can even see the inside. It's not all done yet. And that's basically what it looks like at the minute. Um, it's very... The inside of prop work is never quite finished. Yes, and this is what goes around my neck. I had to figure out a solution. Because every time I kept putting my head forward, the thing wanted to fall off. I've got loads of work, like I say, like bits here. It need body filling, needs more gel coat, because at the minute it's quite still a bit rubbery because this is foam at the front. But I'm very overall happy. Yeah, the camera is doing it justice. Very happy to say I've never done, I've done Daleks. That's all I've ever done on this channel. But to do some to this extreme, to something that looks like a skull like i say it's not done 100 percent deathstroke has one eye so that's the reason why this is patched up it'll be given this side will be given a skull look and it'll all be dark black i'm not quite sure on what the color i don't want to copy it because then it's deathstroke and, I, and I, it's my own take there's a bullet hole here that will be patched up to look more like a bullet's gone through this side basically looks more damaged and there'll be some teeth here and nose skull thing this side will look a lot smoother basically and this is where i see out might have mesh i don't know yet unless i'm gonna have to get makeup and cover my face up when i'm acting in this it's not 100 percent accurate at all because if i was to point out the anatomy i think the word is for a skull it's not 100% accurate, it's it's gone through changes because I've, well, never built anything. And if Mono's watching this, um, I hope I'm doing an alright job because I've never done anything like this at all. Nothing, nothing humanoid. So, I did say I was going to show the old one and this is an improvement so much. To say I've never done a score. It's a bit wobbly at the minute. I'm still tinkering with it for my head. But the first thing that I did, it does look weird because I basically poured gel coat into cardboard and it shrunk, as that's what happens. This basically looks a bit like um, uh, the Green Goblin. I wasn't going for that look, and it looks a bit like Green Goblin mashed with Spider Man. So. If you can even see. It wasn't great at all. I, I gave up halfway through because one, it didn't fit on my head after it shrunk. It was too much. Um, and the shape, it's not really a skull shape. It does look like the Green Goblin quite close. But yeah, that was a failed attempt. That's pure gel coat. So yeah, comparison is a lot different. I don't know what I would go in with the eyes. Way too big. Um, but yeah, I am so happy with that. So it's a day and night comparison. This is the good one. I can get a good close up. 
And I've got all the stuff sorted, like the suit and body armour and everything. It's just the helmet. And it's, like I say, cardboard. A lot of effort brainstorming. It's not symmetrical either, but that's because, of, like I say, the design. It's like, you go imagine, half of his face is in, in the film film show he's always missing one side as in on his real face as well we never know what he looks like but he always has his eye missing basically so messed up side a bit like two-face and the good side so this will be nice and polished and this side will be all crappy and you know made to look like a skull no idea it looks like a fencing helmet than anything but yeah this i'm chuffed with it it won't be an that and I'm, I can't say the word, but you know what I'm looking the word I'm looking for. It's not correct in the slightest to a human score, but it's my character. I'm gonna do whatever I want with it, you know. But it looks like a score, I'm really and this frowning expression, I am very proud of that. It completely changed. I bought one well, I got one bought offline. A real proper Slade mask. Um from Ireland, I'm waiting for that. But yeah, the prices of them for like a 3D print was for like 50 odd quid. Now that's not a lot of money to me. And I thought, but I'll just give it a go. I'll try. And it, uh, the amount of times I looked on the internet, found some templates, glued it together with whatever I had left. This is just leftover gel coat and that's basically hardened it a bit like, um, it has got a bit of, pa um, no, not paper mache, a bit of fiberglass on the top um, to keep its shape. And it's doing all right. At the end of the day, in the future, if I want to take a mould, I will probably take a mould of this because it's so probably fragile, not too fragile, but all them details kept and the ridges and everything probably will get damaged over time with this being another filming prop. Um, not for this year, if anyone thinks this. This is just for what I want to do. Just wanted to do something different. I've gotten into the show Teen Titans and all that and, well, I've more or less finished it. I've just got two, well, three moot. Free, free movies to watch um, left. Um, but yeah, I've never been a big fan of superheroes. It's always been there. I've always used to watch it. Doctor Who's been my main thing. This is, the Doctor Who's always been my thing, as you can see from the channel. Don't worry, the Dalek is still going on. I'm waiting to get paid this 21st in that time as well. I'm meeting Mono Supreme on Friday. And yeah, there's just a lot going off at the minute and the guy who i just mentioned he does mask making and all that so that's why i'm going around to see him now that i say that that does look quite close to a, what i'm buying from him um a mold basically to cast um latex molds he's really great at his um thing if you have a look at his channel and we go and uh yeah yeah it's, um i guess i'll give a little shout out to him yeah he's another channel that i watch who loves daleks as much as i do um Hasn't got the room again to do the build, and if he is watching this, I can understand why, you know, I mean, look at our garden, it's not exactly precise. Doing minimal stuff like this, even though it's not min minimal, like, um, um, what's the word? Uh, there is a lot of work that goes into it, so that's what I mean by that. Not everyone can build in their bedroom or out in the garden, basically. So that's where I was going with that. So a shout out to him because I'm going to have a mould that I would never have been able to. Probably would have, but I'm not great at this type of stuff. I'm good at making stuff look messy, but his work is great. And he likes Daleks. So if you like my channel and that sort of stuff, go to his channel. Because I'm going to have a video soon anyway, a vlog of when we're going to meet. Fingers crossed. I still want... I'm meaning that, you know, anything could happen. But I am always... I'm 100% certain we are going to make it on Friday. There's nothing that's uh, hindered us yet so far. Let's just hope, because I really want to do this. I want to meet another YouTuber. I say another YouTuber. I'm not the biggest YouTuber. You know, I've only got 50-odd, something like that. He's got 600-odd subscribers. So it's, you know, it's one of those things of meeting different people. And that's what I want to do. I've already, I'm already friends with one YouTuber who's got a 1,000-odd. Um, and that's my producer. Um, so yeah, just going out to other people, but yes, this is roughly where I'm up to. I've been quiet. It's mainly Facebook that I do a lot of work on there, but I, like I say, not a lot of people want to be, f I, few followers, I've got 40 odd followers on it, probably just random accounts from other countries. 
Um, but yeah, I do a lot of pictures on there um, and everything. But yeah, the Dal Daleks nearly done. Don't worry on that. I get paid on the 21st. So that's where I'm up to at the minute. I'm nearly done with it. It's looking great. I've just got the neck to do. So I just thought, what can I do in the meantime? And that is what I've been doing. In fact, let's, I haven't really done its credit because of the camera. But yeah, it doesn't look great close up. Um, like I say, I've got all here to fill and give that cheek design. Uh, here needs filling. All here needs sort of fixing, you know. You don't want a bit looking in there. Um, this today, this is what I'm so proud of. The school deed and the way it feels as well. Um, it might not be correct. I did look at images as best I could as a re at a real school. And then I just could, sort of drew them on. And then sort of dremeled into it slightly. And then, because it couldn't just be a smooth line, because that just doesn't make sense. And then I sort of went back and forth with the dremel. And then a few lines here and there. And it overall does look and feels about right. I'm not a school person, so if there's anyone on here looking at this and thinking, God, what has he done? That is not that is not correct in the slightest. And I can get away with, um, this is just gel coat that's been sanded. And then, of course, when it puddles up, it only puddles in certain areas. So it does look like a real, like a school. And um, this is all going to be cleaned. Like I say, this looks bad at the minute. This, I'm not, I do like that, but it is going to be built up. And these will be body filled. I ain't got body fill at the minute. Body fill? Body filler. And this one's going to have an eyebrow. Um, I've got that. So that's why symmetry I'm not too bothered about. Because let's say one side is going to look a bit more. This side is going to look a lot rubbish than this. Well, not rubbish, but you know what I mean. Did think of having a laser in there, but keep it minimal at the minute. It's just an idea, just something to keep me finned. And like I say, I am enjoying this. At first, it was a very blank canvas. If I did take a lot of pictures, but I sadly did not. Um, compared to the Daleks, I take loads of pictures. This, I just didn't know what I was doing, just going forward with it. And then I forgot and I'm like kicking myself going, oh, I should have took pictures of what this looked before. I try and find as good ones as I can. There was only like five or six of how blank this looked. And I've got the template still. It is a little big for my liking because once it's put on my body, even my body's too small or I haven't got the shoulder pads and to beef my top half out. And I am always looking in that mirror. So I'm not ever seeing the bottom half of myself. So it always looks a little, it looks like an alien. It did look like an alien at first. I've had to then raise the top up and then the skull and everything like that. But I'm very happy. It's quite lightweight. I mean, it's cardboard, reusable material that I've just had laying about. So yeah, that is so far what the mask looks like. And that's, like I say, just to strap. That It'll be covered up so it's not noticeable. And it'll have the... Um, bandana sort of st strings ninja sort of stuff i don't know what it is like um straps coming away but yeah that is just something just a little different don't worry i will be back on the dalek very soon 21st to get paid can start painting it up finish up all them bumps on it and get on with that neck and mechanics and it's ready then so yeah Hope you've enjoyed the little video of my progress where I've been. And yeah, I'm quite enjoying that. I don't know what name I'm going to come up for it, but can't be Deathstroke because that's licensed, even though the look is Deathstroke inspired. But that's where I'm up to at the minute. And I'll uh, see you all soon.